film as a technology has been around for more than 100 years. And ever since they started trying to tell stories with film, not long after film started to come into its own, visual effects were created. And they needed to composite uh, different layers of film together to create scenes. In the 60s, film had gone into a period of realistic movies, and the art of special effects had drifted away, uh, although it had been one of the founding branches of the film industry, the, the art of filmmaking. The whole idea was that it was an illusion and a special effect. With ILM, I was able to bring together a group of artists and, and train them deal in the, the older arts of uh, illusion. San Francisco was essentially leveled in 1906. The, the Pan Pacific International Exposition was seized on as an opportunity to demonstrate to the world that San Francisco was not a, a burned out hull of its former self. The site where the Letterman Hospital is now was in fact part of the PPIE. There's the, uh, the dome, the Palace of Fine Arts. There's the crescent-shaped building around it, and there's the little lagoon. The Letterman Center is right here, right now. It occupies that whole shape. See these buildings? That was an exhibition building for the Pan Pacific Exposition. It's kind of interesting to think that now that the Presidio is changing into a national park, uh, there's a new kind of sharing going on. See, as you come in here, I want to get it looking that way. Why? Just okay. with this view. I, I, that's a great view. As we come in, I, that's a great thing. People, that one of the great things we're doing is these views. Right. Which I know. Made the buildings relate to the green space. Right, the exactly. The power of the green space is its shape. I was born and raised in Northern California. I grew up in Modesto. I ultimately went to school in Southern California for a few years, and then I came right back here to San Francisco uh, to start my film career uh, and my company. Um, I was told at the time that you could not be in the motion picture business and live in San Francisco, but um, a few other stalwart filmmakers and myself managed to make it work up here. And uh, I'm very proud of being a Northern Californian. I'm very happy living in San Francisco. I've lived here uh, in the Bay Area for over uh, 30 years. ILM was begun when I uh, started working on Star Wars. I needed a special effects facility to make that film, and in the process, ended up developing a, an operation which consisted primarily of a lot of equipment, but most importantly, a group of talented artists uh, who uh, had special skills that uh, for the most part, had been lost in the film business. Film was every bit of the medium. It was the initial photography, it was the intermediate steps that we had to take, and it was the final compositing. Now we take film and we scan it into the computer, monkey around with it in the computer, and film it out. ILM is, is a, a fascinating combination of talent. Uh, people are artists. Before they come here, they have artistic lives outside of here, and then they come together to work as a team toward the art of filmmaking as a whole. And it's, it's, an, it's an incredible combination of, of inspiration and talent and a sort of a synergy of these people working together toward a common vision that, get, that then ends up on the screen. I started developing Skywalker Ranch right after I completed Star Wars. And it was really the success of Star Wars that made my company begin to grow and forced me to think about larger facilities you know, a place where I could house uh, all the people who came with the success. I like to work in a facility that fits into the environment, that looks like it's been there for a period of time. I'm very much an advocate of historic architecture. 
I think it's important that uh, the people who work for me uh, be in a very park-like setting, have very comfortable surroundings, uh, because mostly what we do is think and uh, are involved in very creative type work, so that, that, that the, 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 the thinking, the contemplative process is very important to us. I see that George has an amazing passion for environmental issues, and you can really see the quality and care that's been applied here at Skywalker Ranch. The ecological done on this site is really, really well done. And it reflects in the lives of the people who work in the facilities as well. Buildings that have that quality enhance our lives. One of the reasons I'm interested in putting a facility in the Presidio, uh, one, it's the perfect kind of environment for the kind of artistic people who, who work uh, for me and do the kind of creative work that we're involved in. But I also think uh, um, I am in a unique position to be able to afford to put in a, a good facility that is uh, proper for something as important as a national park. There is a new generation of national parks which are, which are dedicated because of their historic and cultural value in a very real way. We're continuing the tradition of the Letterman Hospital. Letterman Hospital was designed around these pavilions very narrow floor plates, which meant that daylight and fresh air could get to every part of the building. The Presidio is really a wonderful collection of buildings. There are buildings from many different eras, and they don't all match stylistically. But the, but the amazing thing is that as you go through the Presidio, you would swear that they're all the same. And the way it's done is by use of color and material. And the new buildings will, will follow along in what I think you could accurately describe as a, as a kind of Presidio style, this sort of off-white, vanilla ice cream stucco, red tile roofs, very simple shapes, sensible. After all, this was a military place. This was not a place of high image architecture. This is not a muscular, uh, you know, uh, expressive of, uh, of the architect's ego or of the ego of the developer. All of the cars in this place will be underground. And it's one of the things that, that George Lucas has done at Skywalker Ranch. It's an astonishing thing to do, honestly, to invest what it will take to put the cars underground. But it's also absolutely the right thing to do. The facility that we're hoping to build in the Presidio uh, not only includes industrial light and magic uh, and uh, Skywalker Sound, but also uh, Lucas Learning and uh, Lucas Entertainment. Uh, Lucas Learning is a, an educational multimedia company that is helping to facilitate high technology in schools. Part of the digital group that's going to be working uh, in the Presidio facility are the interactive games, uh, interactive multimedia uh, portions of our company, which do uh, both educational products and also create games and, and other forms of entertainment. One of the things that, that the Lucas companies wanted to accomplish when they set up Lucas Learning was to make sure that there was an opportunity for Lucas Learning to benefit from all the learning that all the other companies had already done. Um, so we're sitting right now next to Lucas Arts, which is a great synergy. We get to have a technology sharing arrangement with them where everything that they've done in the past, if we can make use of it, we've got access to it. As architects, we have this probably uh, this great optimism that in fact a building can help you work better. George Lucas has encouraged us to do that in all of the ways that we can, whether it's by bringing in more daylight, whether it's by making the buildings function so that they create community. A building can offer opportunities for people to meet one another serendipitously. You can encourage interaction among people. This is one of the great experiments of our century. Here, for the first time, there is a national park that has invaded the city. Now that's quite a new experience, and that dichotomy between the two ideas of human use and nature itself is what's happening at the Presidio. And we're trying to do exactly the same thing in our, in our proposal. We're devoting about half of the area to the buildings, the courtyards, the place where people will be working, and the other half of it, we're doing it as a national park, as green, as places for people to pr promenade, for people to use. Well, folly is an English term for an area of a, of a beautiful long vista with a lagoon. Okay, you want to put in a gate. And at the end of Chestnut Street, for people. Just for pedestrians. For pedestrians only. And look at, we see a view, a very good view of the
Colgate Bridge by now. It will be a place that will denote the entrance to the park. It will be one of the main entrances to the park. It will serve as a bus stop, as a background to the lagoon, as a place where there may be a co coffee bar and things like that. San Francisco is a movie center. It's a very small movie center, but it's a very leading edge movie center. And uh, we have uh, many people up here who make movies. And I think it's appropriate that we have a centerpiece that is a cornerstone in the idea of digital cinema, a place that people can identify in the Bay Area and say, this is where the leading edge is being pursued.